Fred actually ask us to talk a little bit about the Arcanum and what it's all about and this sort of thing. So not only is Pete uh, one of my best friends, but he's also the CEO of the Arcanum. And I, you know, it's such a personal project to me. Um, you know, I really want to change the way the world learns mm -hmm. and he can talk about it in just a totally different way. So I'm, I'm going to let him go. So like, what is it about to you? Yeah, so the Arcanum to me is about fundamentally flipping education. It's about putting the learner at the heart of the entire learning process. And so what we're doing is creating a platform that brings together some of the best experts in the world and enables them to create a community with learners of, that are like-minded. Yeah. And so we, we think this is a great approach to building a, the beginning of a lifelong learning right. process. And we're getting started specifically yeah. like in the photography discipline. Correct. Because it happens to be like what we're super passionate about. That's right, yeah. And so we're, we're starting with a bunch of yeah. amazing master photographers. And what happens is the master photographers, they go in and they actually get to pick their apprentices. Right. And we have, a, we have a system internally we like to call like the, the e-harmony of matching together yeah. masters and apprentices or uh, coaches and learners. And yeah. so, like I know that you just talk about this all the time. Like <laughs> yeah. we, we have meetings all the time, <laughs> constantly talk about. It. So like, what is your vision of this? How, how, can, we, how can we really kind of reinvent the way a this happens? Absolutely, yeah. so I think, I think you're hitting on it. So one of the ways we shorthand talk about this is be the e-harmony of matching experts and learners. And uh, when we think about our business, we use the master and apprentice because that has its roots in the arts and with artists from ancient times. Right. And so, but the, at the heart of this is this idea of coaching. And this is the insight, I think. So with coaches, coaches do three super important things. Number one, we all have blind spots. These are the... the these are by definition things we don't know that are holding us back. These are the obstacles keeping us from leveling up. So number one, coaches help us identify those blind spots. Okay. Number two, coaches then create challenges to help you develop skills to overcome those obstacles. And number three, it's about inspiration and encouragement. Coaches model the behavior that they need you to have in order for you to overcome these obstacles. Right, so, and so um, we really, we feel like we understand the motivations of learners and coaches, yep. and I think the big problem in the world is that it's never been a good way to, to bring them yep. together, right? It's a in, in, very inefficient system for these people Correct. to meet each other. Right now, like we happen to be here with Fred, and we're here in, in my home in New Zealand, and <laughs> we're about to have this party. You might hear people setting up right now because we're having a workshop. This is actually a very inefficient way right. for like coaches and learners to get together. So we, we think we have a better system. And yep. So talk a little bit about the way a, a master goes in and actually hand chooses each Absolutely. of their apprentices to join their cohort. This is, this is really this is a fascinating part. And this is about first actually having um, a set of people, our apprentices, our applicants to the Arcanum that really pour their hearts and souls into their applications. You would not believe uh, the information these people are, are providing about their artistic goals, their desires, the type of learning they really enjoy, the type of culture they really enjoy. And all of that information goes into their application. And then we, on the other side, inside of our Arcanum application, give masters search tools that allow them to search for keywords, that allow them to sort by different disciplines, and so forth. But what's really powerful is that every master has their own culture, their own way of setting the environment and the conditions for learning. Right. And so what we're able to do is give the masters these, the search tool for them to handpick one, one apprentice, one learner at a time, and by doing so create this perfect pool of, of a community, right? Yeah. Literally, yeah. like adding building block by building block. I've seen people like Karen Hutton specifically target certain skills to balance out the mixture of talents and backgrounds and perspectives to get a very dynamic and rich community within right. her cohort. Right. We think this is an extremely powerful method to bring together apprentices and masters, learners and, and experts, coaches. Yeah, and we've been, we've been seeing all this stuff. We're still in very early beta. We're testing all this kind of stuff. Yeah. 
and we expect certain organic things to happen and yep. they're actually happening. Like, yes. so these people <laughs> that Karen Hutton handpicked, they come in with a certain culture already, right? And so a lot of the learning inside the yes. mastery cohort happens amongst apprentices. And so the, the, uh, the master is there all the time. You like to say they're not like a, a sage on the stage. They're kind of creating the environment for learning. And when they pick these people, it's yes. like picking a fantasy football team. It's like, how, how many times has a teacher been able to pick who's in their class? It's ridiculous. Absolutely. So it's just been amazing what's happened inside. Incredible. Yeah. And I think if you want to learn more about this, Karen published two posts hmm. on this topic about her approach to being a master and what it means. And what I love about her post is that even though it's about what it means to be a master, she's putting the apprentice in the forefront, right? It's right. all about what the apprentice does in terms of working with the other apprentices in the cohort, yeah. as well as working with the master as a guide and a coach, not that direct sage on the sage stage right. kind of thing. Yeah. Right. And I think the reason we're saying all this is because yeah. we're so excited about it. We yeah. want you to be excited about yes. it. And actually, no one has ever built anything like this before. And we want you to come help us build this together, right? Because this is an organic thing. It's not a, a top-down situation. It's a bottom-up situation. Yes. So if the kinds of things we're saying resonate with you, you know, come, come find out more. And how, how can they find out more? Absolutely. Well, first, uh, go to thearcanum.com and... Click uh, apply and you can submit an application and, and definitely read some of our posts that we've also put on the Facebook page, our Facebook page and our Google Plus page. It talks about really putting the, the right passion into your application. That is what counts. Right. That is what is getting on the radar with these masters is how, how much you can portray your interest, your passion around this art form. Yeah, very good. Well, yeah. Thanks, Pete. You're, yeah. you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I feel lucky to have I, you. Oh, Thank man, you. I feel yeah. lucky to be involved in it. It's yeah. great. Cool. Yeah. All right, thanks for making us cool. do this, Fred. You're awesome, too. Thank you. Cool.